Hi, Josh here. Today I'm really excited to share with you the first production release of the Modius Brushless Controller. This controller is the heart of the QDD100 Quasi Direct Drive Brushless Servo, which forms the basis for all the quadrupeds I built, like the MJBOTS Quad A1. It lets you turn hobby brushless motors into high performance servo actuators. You can find out more about how to buy either the bare board or a dev kit in the description below. Today I'm going to show you a little of the test and programming procedure that every board goes through when it comes back from the fab. This is the programming and test setup I have for the Modis controllers. It consists of a Raspberry Pi touchscreen, a 3D printed fixture with a brushless motor mounted to it and some pogo pins, a label printer, a CAN USB, and a STEM32 programmer. Um, works, you take the controller and plug in all the appropriate ports, data, power, and programming. Install it on the fixture using the toggle clamp to mate it to the pogo pins, apply power, and hit the button on the Pi. That runs through the programming and test sequence where it flashes the part, then does some hardware tests, powers up the motor, verifies it can spin it, that the encoder reads properly. Uh, once that's done, it prints out a label with the serial number and uploads the results to the cloud. Uh, while that's going, I can get the next controller ready and package up the previous one. So one open here we can see the motor is maybe you can see the motor spinning it is as it runs through a 360 calibration sequence and then does a Speed free, or a speed test. Once that's done, the label is printed and it can be pulled off. Set that here with its label. Get the next one queued up. Then we'll get this guy stored away. Here, label applied, filed away. 